Summer at the seaside, but out in Weymouth Bay, two sleek kayaks glide across the water. Feel that headwind? Can you get it offshore? That's the voice of Royal Marine Commando, Captain Chris Abrams, who's alongside his friend Jamil Siddiqui, who once served in the RAF. They're using the stunning Dorset coastline as their training ground for an epic challenge. They'll circumnavigate the Isle of Wight, about 80 nautical miles. At the end of August, the duo will travel 44 nautical miles across the Irish Sea, before concluding their trio of kayaking adventures with an 80 nautical mile paddle along the Dorset coastline from Poole to Limston in Devon, where the Royal Marines are trained. In a former life, I was a physical training instructor, uh, and as a part of that, I did an adventure training um, qualification in kayaking. Um, and there was an instant connection there for me. Um, and then actually just life got in the way, work got in the way, things got busy, other interests took over. And, uh, and I came back to kayaking about a year ago um, after a conversation with, with Jamil. And it was a case of, do you know what, let's get back in some, some kayaks, let's see what we can do and let's pull some challenges together and try and raise a bit of money for charity. The first part of their mission, which is called the Ocean Wave Challenge, is underway around the Isle of Wight. They hope to raise £10,000 for the Royal Marines charity as part of the broader Commando 80 Challenge, which celebrates the 80th anniversary of the Royal Marines taking on the commando role during the Second World War. It's an amazing feeling when you're out there in nature, not just in nature, but part of nature. That's how it feels. And uh, move, you can feel the movement of the waves, you can see the the birds and the um, seals, if there are some around, and the marine uh, wildlife. You find yourself very much in the now, in the moment, um, whether it's judging some tide, ju judging some swell, or um, a wave perhaps. You're just completely in that moment and focused on that, um, on that sort of... But also the fact that it is a vessel for adventure. You can fill it full of gear, you can fill those things full of gear, um, and you can be away for a week, two weeks. They're totally self-sufficient during their challenges and will beach camp at the end of each day. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Weymouth. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.